Hi everyone, this is Terry from Tree Marie Soapworks, here to show you how to fit a silicone mat to any silicone mold. I will be sharing information in the description below of where I got some of my supplies. So for this project we're going to use two pieces of paper, or a paper long enough to be just a little bit longer than the, the widest side of the mold. So in this case, I had to tape two regular pieces of paper together to get a length long enough. And this is going to be our makeshift ruler. And the good thing about this is it's flexible and it's not like a rigid ruler that won't really fit inside the mold. Okay, now that you have your two pieces together, just fit it up to the very edge of the mold and on the other edge you just make a crease and mark it and then just try and make sure that it that same mark is at the same spot at the edge of your mold and then repeat the same thing on the other direction So I have my two lines, and now I'm going to make a template. And this is just poster board. You could really use anything, but something a little thicker than paper works the best. So I'm marking my thinner side of the mold, and I'm going to make a few marks and join them together with a ruler and you could just use the scissors to cut this or in this case I happen to have a rotary cutter that is it makes quick work of this but you you need if you use an exacto knife or a rotary cutter you need a cutting mat like this and cut the other edge of your template. Okay, now we're gonna check the fit. So now I'm finding the best spot to cut where I think it's like centered the most on the design without wasting the edge. I could probably do something else with the edges. So I'm gonna cut around exactly to the edge of my template. And if you're using a rotary cutter or exacto knife, you probably should use a thicker ruler than I used because your fingers are off close to the edge there. And now we have our mat cut. 
and let's see how it fits. <laughs> 